Cara, placa de vídeo a dois mil reais, esquece. Esquece. Nunca mais. Eu acredito que nunca mais. Eu acredito que o mercado do brasileiro degringolou de uma forma que não volta ao normal nunca mais. Acho que nunca mais. Vamos lá. Como é que tá o som aí? Tá bom? We miss Taiwan and wish we could be there in person for Computex. So we created Taipei City in Microsoft Flight Sim and flew in virtually on a GeForce RTX 3080. Porra, é um jogo que eu não consegui jogar, cara. Aqui travava direto. Acabei dropando. E é um, uma parada maneiríssima, né? Flight Simulator. Os caras criaram a cidade de Taipei completa. Welcome to Computex 2021. It's always great to talk directly to our partners, and this year we have a lot to talk about. I'm going to kick it off with gaming, and then I'll hand it to Manavir Das to talk about AI and our enterprise platforms. So let's get started. Death Strange. Já zerei já, Nvidia. É esse. Esse game já zerei. Não, te rider não. Te rider eu passo. E esse aí eu nunca ouvi falar não, hein? Sword and Fairy. Ah, errei macaco. Errei mamaco. Metro Êxodo não tanquei não, Nvidia. Metro Êxodo não deu não, o boneco não fala. Tem que botar um RTX Voice, Nvidia, nesse Metro Êxodo, pra ver se o cara fala. Outriders de novo. Cara, o PC tá tão pico que os caras estão repetindo o game. Death Stranding. Cara, esse cyberpunk é foda. With over a hundred top games and apps available today, RTX is the new standard. For creators and broadcasters, RTX is accelerating the number one photography app, the number one video editing app, and the number one broadcast app. For gamers, RTX is powering the number one battle royale, the number one RPG, and the number one best-selling game of all time. Number one RPG, Cyberpunk. And Call of Duty Warzone to the list. And today, we have more exciting games to announce. Dying 1983 is the second game in the Dying franchise from the Chinese developer Netcom. It's a Japanese-inspired horror-themed puzzle game. It's stark and frightening yeah, it's world, it's it's life with RTX ray tracing it's and it's Max. DLSS. Let's take an exclusive look at Dying 1983 with RTX on. Let's see, ジンタイ Rei três para otakus. Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege is one of the most popular esports games in the world, with over 70 million players worldwide. In March, Rainbow Six gamers gained the competitive edge of Nvidia Reflex. 
Cara, tá aí algo que eu nunca testei esse NVIDIA Reflex. Eu não conseguiria prestar, saber a diferença. Pô, esse jogo também ficou aceleradão, né? Aceleradão, cara, esse Rainbow Six. É foda, né? Que a NVIDIA tenta fazer uma coisa. 4K. Ninguém joga essa porra em 4K, cara. Os caras jogam em 720p. Complicado, né? New Zealand-based developer Rocketworks was founded by Dean Hall, best known as the creator of DayZ. Their highly anticipated Ih, game, Icarus, is a stunning multiplayer survival game set on a savage alien planet. Today we are announcing that Icarus will come alive with RTX Recreation and DLSS when the initial chapter, First Cohort, launches this fall. Let's take a look at some exclusive new footage. Caralho, da Boêmia, agora é pica, né? Ah, esse game pode aparecer no canal, hein? Primeira pessoa. Não, o jogo da Boêmia dá pra botar em terceira pessoa. Aí, dá. Maneiro. Icarus. Red Dead Redemption 2 is one of the most critically acclaimed games. Ih, caralho! With more than 275 perfect scores, 175 Game of the Year awards, and more than 37 Aí sim, hein? Today. We are happy to announce that Rockstar Games will be adding DLSS. DLSS, mano, é finalmente. Every RTX gamer will see a free boost in performance. VR is taking off. VR game revenue. Caralho, finalmente, cara. The installed base of PC compatible VR headsets is expected to exceed 30 million in the next 5 years. With almost twice the resolution of a desktop monitor and unforgiving FPS requirements, VR is very demanding on the GPU. And RTX is now coming to VR. No Man's Sky, the popular open world space game, now features DLSS. VR gamers can soon play with ultra graphics at 90 Pô, essa porra não pegou ainda, né, cara? Caralho, não, Red Dead, é, agora eu vou... Eu tava jogando outro dia, cara, o Red Dead aqui offline. Tava jogando com o John Marston. Adds DLSS to boost performance and keep you immersed in this dystopian world. Com certeza eu vou trazer um feed. We invented NVIDIA Reflex for them. The difference between winning and losing is a matter of milliseconds. On average, Reflex reduces system latency by 20 milliseconds. It gets the PC out of the way, so a gamer's real skill can come to play. And gamers love it. More than 90% of them compete with Reflex on. Today we are announcing even more NVIDIA Reflex games. Gaijin's War Thunder, the most popular air, land, and sea battle arena with over 40 million gamers. Naraka Blade Point, the highly anticipated battle royale slasher from 24 Entertainment. In the last closed beta, it broke into Steam's top five games. Baraka, nunca vi esse game. Crossfire HD is a remastered version of the original, with over 560 million gamers in China. And Escape from Tarkov, the intense survival shooter from Battlestate Games, is one of the top 10 most played competitive shooters. Coming soon. 12 of the top 15 competitive shooters will feature NVIDIA Reflex. Let's take a look at Reflex in Escape from Tarkov. Porra, se a NVIDIA não consegue nem capturar o Escape from Tarkov. Ah, 
RTX has been a huge success. And today we are announcing a new addition to the family. The eee. GeForce RTX 3080 Ti is our new flagship gaming GPU. Olha Nvidia. second generation RT core. É essa que eu quero, hein? Ampere is our greatest generation. Não vem de 3070 para cima de mim não, hein? É, não me deram antes pra me dar essa, eu entendi. Eu agradeço, eu agradeço. GeForce Metal Líquido, mano. Envenenada, envenenada. The 80 Ti class of GPUs represents the best of our gaming lineup. The GTX 1080 Ti, released in 2017, could tackle all the games of its time. But this well-loved GPU simply can't keep up with the demands of modern games. The RTX 2080 Ti was introduced as the only way to play in 4K with RTX on. But the production value of games continues to march forward. New titles like Cyberpunk 2077 and Watch Dogs Legion have elevated realism, demanding even more of the GPU. The RTX 3080 Ti is one and a half times faster than its predecessor and tears through the latest games with all the settings cranked up. The RTX 3080 Ti is a powerful GPU with 34 shader teraflops, 67 RT teraflops, and 273 tensor teraflops. It comes equipped with 12 gigabytes of ultra-fast G6X memory and a 384-bit memory interface. Available 12GB, prevejo o choro, hein? Starting at 11.99. Caralho, to show you what this beast toalha. can do, we have a special announcement. Doom is a storied franchise known by a generation of gamers for pushing the boundaries of speed, power, and visual effects. Doom Eternal, the latest in the series, takes this even further. Based on the id Tech 7 engine, it's blistering fast and beautiful. Today we're announcing Doom Eternal is adopting RTX ray tracing and DLSS. Here is a first look at Doom Eternal with ray tracing at 4K running on a 3080 Ti. Ti. 3080 Ti. Oh, Doom, a grande Doom. Cara, olha o pulo do boneco, cara. Não dá, cara. não dá. Cara, Doom consegue ser pior que Halo. Né, Doom é pior que Halo. And that's not all. The RTX 3070 quickly became our most popular Ampere GPU. Now we're adding a tie to this class of GeForce, with more cores and super fast G6X memory. Today we're announcing the RTX 3070 tie. Que reclamava que tinha pouca memória. Faster than a 2070 Super, and availability will begin on June 10th, starting at 5.99. Thank you. Thank, Thank you for joining man. us today. Caralho, Nvidia é um case de sucesso, né, cara? Quando a Nvidia começou fazendo aquelas placas de vídeo lá em... Em 95, ninguém sabia que ia virar esse monstro, né? 
É, não compra ação que tá falindo. A parada multiplicou por 3, mano. Nos últimos, desde que o PC Facts falou que ia falir a NVIDIA. Multiplicou por 3. Caraca.